Hello. I wanted to give you a little heads up about this next course. I'm Jeff Hubona. Thank you for participating. This, this next course is a bit different. This site, of course, we call it Seminar, and it's about PLS path modeling, and it's about structural equation modeling, but it's also about R. And there's a reason for that. R has a lot of value to you as a PLS path modeler or perhaps covariance based structural equation modeler. And I hope to demonstrate that to you in the next 60 to 80 minutes. What these next six videos are going to show you is they're going to show you how you can use R to import applications to import the results of applications, non-R applications, and to continue to massage the data and to use the R capabilities to your advantage. Um, and what we're going to focus on is uh, an excellent, the best PLS path modeling tool in the world, and that is Smart PLS. Smart PLS is a Java-based application. Um, a lot of people like it because of its front end. You have a very convenient and handy GUI that lets you uh, draw your models. You can, you, you're familiar with it. Here, well, I can show you. Here, we have it right here, and I know the screen's a little small, but so here's, um, here's a typical model. This is uh, a modified TAM model. And um, it's already been estimated. Uh, we could just estimate it. We could say calculate, get this in the shots, uh, PLS algorithm, finish. And then we save it. We say file, save. And that would save it to our workspace. That saves the model file, this thing. It says SPLSM. This, isn't the pro this is not the project file. It's the model file. Well, did you know that you can import this model file that's saved on your disk directly into R and then do a very large number of things to it to extend your analysis capabilities. That's what I'm going to show you in these next six videos. So this is going to be our start, start off place, our jump off point. But what we're going to do beyond that is we're going to open up R, these scripts here, and we're going to import our smart PLS model and we will with very few changes we will use that modeling file to run two other PLS path modeling functions on it SEM PLS and PLS PM and then additionally we'll run a covariance based package on it and you can do many more things. This is just meant to be a demonstration. So all of this is rolled up in a function. Okay, so we create, we load in our smart PLS file. We get, uh, we walk through these videos and we get all the way down here to the end. And I create this function called call models. It's right here. This one function that loads in our PLSPM model, loads in the data, runs two other PLS path modeling functions on it from different packages in R, PLSPM, SEM PLS, runs a covariance based structural equation modeling program against it that's in R, stores all the results from these different PLS and SAM runs into one structure or list and then outputs it. Does it work? Well, I, I certainly hope so. We, we can find out. We call it this one line. And that's a warning. Warnings are your friend. You've heard me say that before. We, it did work. We have here our SEM 
results from the SEM function. Here's the SEM PLS results. Here's the PLS PM results. Imagine what you could do. Imagine all of the things, not only to a smart PLS modeling file, but other statistical applications. R, R is very extensive in its capabilities, and people are adding packages to import Lizeral output, M plus output, SAS output, SPSS output. What else could we do in R? Data imputation, missing data, very sophisticated algorithms, linear, nonlinear modeling with your latent variable scores from your PLS path models. You, you're not stuck in, in, in the world of linear modeling. You could do um, you could do GLMs, additive models. You could do binary uh, logistic type regressions that are path models using your output from smart PLS. You could do longitudinal studies if you had the data collected that way that you want to model in smart PLS and you could but then you could finish the longitudinal analysis the, the, the uh, mixed effects analysis in R. The list goes on and on. I'm very excited about it as you might be able to tell. So anyway it was good meeting you and I hope you find this instructive and useful to your purposes and the scripts and the files are available to you in the link that say download materials for this course. Thanks so much.